We are live. Thank you, Gustavo. I'm just waiting here one second to make sure I mute the sound on YouTube here. Okay, good. So, hello everyone, good afternoon. Nice to see you all here. Although, in fact, I'm lying. I am not seeing any of you here, but I know that uh, some of you are here with us uh, watching this uh, live presentation. I am uh, Rosa Duran and I have here with me uh, Gustavo Rojas who is helping uh, coordinate this recording and Nico Siguritzas uh, from Learning from the Extremes as well who will help me doing the presentation. So uh, today, uh, the objective of this uh, webinar is um, the webinar is more devoted to the Learning from the Extremes uh, schools but also uh, can be very helpful for any one of you who are, uh, might be watching this webinar and wanting to learn a little bit more of uh, how to coordinate and organize community building efforts. And um, we will present the strategy that uh, we are adopting for learning from the extremes and how the infrastructure that we chose to use is supporting this effort. So, I will share my screen with you, and uh, you will you are probably seeing now um, the learning from the extremes uh, portal. So Gustavo, please confirm uh, if everyone can see the, it's the, perfect. the portal. Okay, thank you. So uh, this is the learning from the extremes uh, international uh, community is the, the portal um, where um, um, we are uh, organizing all the activities uh, of the project. It's built in an infrastructure that is called the uh, uh, School of the Future. And uh, in this infrastructure, there are several things that um, a user uh, can, can do. So if at any moment in time, I am going too fast. Or if you would like to ask any question, please let me know. I will try to be to, to watch also the the, uh, the chat on YouTube. But in case I'm very focused on what I'm doing here and I miss any any burning question, please let me know. Just type, and uh, uh, Gustavo and Nikos will be um, will be following um, will be following your questions. So this is the, 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 the learning from the Extreme International Portal. They are not like uh, all the other communities of the School of the Future. It's a special community that was created for the learning uh, from the Extremes uh, project. And it has several uh, interesting features. So as you can see, I am I'm here logged in as a teacher now, not as a school manager, and not as a national coordinator, which are roles that a person can have when uh, working in this platform. Uh, and uh, if you have a, co uh, um, a role as a national coordinator or a school manager, you have a little bit more privileges than the ones that uh, you will be seeing uh, in my area as uh, a teacher. So I have an account for me as a teacher, and uh, I will show you uh, what you as a teacher can do uh, and how you can um, uh, benefit from, um, from this uh, portal. So you see here, there are several things for, for you to explore. I will come back to this part here on top. This part here on top has to do with the infrastructure that is hosting this portal, which is the School of the Future and within a project called Open Schools for Open Societies. It's a project that um, gathered many schools uh, in the past and uh, organized uh, several uh, projects within this infrastructure. And as a result of that project, we have this huge community of users here. You can see the number of schools, the number of teachers, and the number of projects. We're not going to go there now. Only if we have time at the end, I will go, I uh, will come back and explore this. Uh, today, I am devoting the time specifically to one of the communities, the Learning from the Extremes International Community, 
which is um, the one that is hosting more, most of the activities of this project. For those of you that might not know the project, this is a project, uh, it's a pilot project uh, funded by the European Commission, uh, and that is funding uh, 123 uh, school projects where the schools are uh, getting uh, some equipment and producing uh, a development plan to uh, improve uh, their schools. They are all rural schools, and we will be supporting the schools to materialize their vision. And one of the efforts that we are doing is the community building uh, infrastructure. We are in charge of this community building effort, and uh, this is a good um, example for any of you, either if you are from learning from the extremes or if you are an outsider, because these are some tips and tricks <coughs> on how you build a community online and how you can benefit uh, your community members while you're working online with them. Uh, I, uh, my institution, Nucleo, happens to be the coordinator of the community building efforts. And I don't have the privilege to be with all the teachers. As you can see, we already have here 474 uh, teachers uh, registered to this international community. And uh, in total, there are 496 members. So it would be really very nice if I could be face to face with everyone, kind of dream to, 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 to be materialized maybe, but we can be online uh, with the teachers. And these are the efforts that I'm going to show. So how did we structure this community? The community has uh, several areas. The first one is the information uh, where you can, you can find some information about uh, the project. You can find here, who are the members uh, of this community? And this is a very nice uh, feature because you will see here the opportunity to communicate with all the teachers or all the members of the Learning from the Extremes community. For instance, I have here uh, Nico Zigurizas and I can uh, find um, his uh, information here. And I can click here on the contact and I can send a message to Nico. So I can say, nice to meet you. And can say, for instance, hi, Nico. We, our institution would like to um, organize an Erasmus project with your school. And Nikos, well, I, I can send a, a copy to myself and I send a message to Nikos. So, and I can do this to all the members of this community. I can also see to which school Nikos belongs. I can see which are the communities where Nikos is a member. I can see if he has, if he has produced any uh, project before and if he has uploaded any resource that might be of interest to me. Uh, in the LFE portal, I can also see resources. And here we are just starting this journey. We are trying to gather resources that will be beneficial for the learning from the extreme schools, where they will find support to materialize uh, their uh, projects. How can you benefit from that? Well, you can always send us a message and say, oh, I would like to learn how to use Python as a coding uh, system with my students. Can you uh, suggest me a resource that would help me on that? Or I am looking for resources to print 3D materials, or I am looking for resources uh, to observe with the robotic telescope. Some of you participated in uh, the session where we had uh, the folks telescope presented. So you can see here information about it. And in each of these resources, you will click and you will find more info. Or you might think, well, you don't have there something that is my, it might be very useful to the other schools. And you can also send us links to resources that you might find useful to your teaching practice. This is very useful, not only to you, of course, but to other colleagues in your school, maybe useful to other teachers in the other countries that are participating in this project. So don't hold the treasures to you, share them with the learning from the extremes community. 
project is something that is not yet uh, uh, filled in. It will be in, in the very near future because we are going to be inviting the learning from the extreme teachers to create their projects in this infrastructure. You want to know how to create your super nice projects here? Well, you have to come to the next webinar. This is, the, is going to be the topic on how to use design thinking for education to build projects with your school and your school community. You don't know what design thinking is? Also going to be presented in the next webinar. So this is something that will appear here. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, you can visit this area here that says accelerators or projects. And you will see in the accelerators examples of projects that were created uh, and verified by the partnership here. And here projects that were created by students. These are all open educational resources. And that means what? You want to know another webinar that we're going to organize to tell you all about open educational resources, free resources that you can use in your lessons and how you assess their qualities, how you create your own educational resources. Okay, so these are all things that you can find already in this first one. You can also find events. So for instance, this webinar is here and the future webinars are also going to appear here. For instance, we had, uh, I, I, if I go here to the Learning from the Extreme webinar, I can enroll, which I did. Ah, now I did, I didn't do it before. Don't tell, don't tell Rosa. So you can enroll and you will receive a message that you have enrolled uh, to this uh, webinar and you will receive to this event and you will receive more information about uh, this event. Um, yeah, so this is the navigation through the first line of this community building platform. Let me check if there is any questions. No, just hello. Hello, good people. Hello, good friends. Good to see you all here. So why is this important for community building? Well, you cannot build a community if members cannot talk to each other. So this is why we have here the list of members and everyone can communicate and should communicate to everyone. You cannot build a community if you have nothing to share. So sharing resources is a very good practice. You might be saving the life of all your peer colleagues that have to teach something that, you know, they need some resource that they want to build a maker space in their school and don't know where to start, that need to, to print a 3D, 3D uh, material and they don't know where to get started. So sharing resources is something that is very important. Sharing projects, organizing events. You might ask me, can I organize an event that might be of interest to the other teachers? Yes, you can. Just let us know and we will put your event here and invite uh, the other colleague teachers that are in this community to participate in your events. We, for instance, we are going to, um, to promote events. Uh, we call them Tea with Bits, where we will invite you to communicate with other colleagues uh, from learning from the extremes or from other uh, projects uh, if you also want to join. Just let us know that you want to join. We open registration for the Tea with Bits. And this is a space where people or teachers will be able to discuss their projects, discuss uh, their challenges, their best practices, their success stories, or just chat about the weather, whatever they want, okay? It's a community building effort that we are doing here. So I'm giving you the secret of our success stories, okay? Now, let's start scrolling down a little bit. We have here something that's called the wall. And the wall is like a forum where people can post whatever they want and bring discussions about whatever topic they want. Here you see some publicity one, but I can go here, for instance, as a teacher and say, what is the topic trending in your secondary schools physics classroom right now? Do you suggest something to teach astronomy? Oh, astronomy. I can post here and someone will go to the wall 
and reply to my message and you know provide a discourse uh, provide uh, uh, the initiation of uh, a discussion about certain topics so why do we have this wall because we want you guys to communicate with each other and it's a very good way to make sure that uh, we are supporting each other the best we can we come from different parts of the world you can already see here on the chat we have people from croatia romania uh, spain india austria uh, Greece, uh, Portugal, uh, Senegal. So you already can uh, start seeing how you can benefit uh, from a space like this. You also will find here a help desk where you can send messages. Uh, in this case, uh, I, I, it's me as a teacher. I would send a message and by sending a message, the coordinator of the portal or uh, uh, the national coordinator of your country will receive this message and will uh, support you in this help desk. Um, training opportunities. Here, we are gathering training opportunities for, for all the teachers that we find that might be useful for all of you. So for instance, the learning from the extreme summer school. You can register to that school. Just click here, read more, and register to the Learning from the Extreme Summer School where we are going to present this and much more. This is the link to this summer school. Or you can go and watch this. It's going to, uh, to, 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 to the link of the webinar about uh, the robotic telescopes. Uh, we will have also one, I think Nikos forgot to put the one about uh, processing the images with robotic telescopes. It's also going to be appearing here in the near future. There's also the Erasmus Plus webinar. This is a very useful webinar where Dr. Sofo Cristotidio is telling us how uh, to um, how to uh, create your, your uh, Erasmus project for your schools. So how you can create uh, projects that will enable uh, teachers to attend such summer schools, students to visit other schools, yourself to do job shadowing in maybe other of the learning from the extreme schools, or even produce, for instance, uh, collaborative, collaborative projects with other schools from learning from the extremes, okay? Um, these are very useful uh, tips. Or you can participate in the Click Polite Summer School that is coming in uh, September and is going to take place in the beautiful Darskai Alkeva region here in Portugal. If you haven't seen it, you are missing a huge opportunity. Uh, or Dome, a, a maze, Sismo Lab, Food Ship Summer School. There will be another one for astronomy in the Canary Islands. There will be one in partnership with the European Space Agency, so on and so forth. There's also going to appear here all the MOOCs that are being created uh, for the Learning from the Extreme project that will help you uh, uh, in making uh, your school a highly equipped and connected classroom and will help you also navigate the improvement of the competence profile of your educators and your learners. All of this is going to be uh, appearing here in training opportunities. Guidelines and tutorials. At this moment, we have uh, already the guidelines on how to use this portal, this very facility that I'm presenting to you. There is a very complete manual that will walk you step by step on everything you need to do and you need to know in order uh, to, um, to um, follow uh, this, uh, this uh, manual. And all you have to do is join, join this uh, community, okay? And you have access to all of this. There is also the school square. And the school square has the good practices. It's a list of, uh, of uh, 24 good practices that were selected by the project. Uh, that you can read and use to inspire you um, in your projects. It will inspire you on steps that you can take in order to improve um, to improve uh, your students' experience, your teachers' experience, or your school uh, digital transformation journey. So there are some examples here. And also for school managers, 
Uh, this is the entry point to the self-reflection tools that also the schools uh, have had the opportunity to use. For those of you that are not from learning from the extremes, you won't have access to this uh, tool, but that there are other uh, equally good um, tools out there that we can refer you to, to help you assess how uh, well your school and educators and learners are doing in terms of uh, the digital competence profile. Um, then you have here the list of school. Um, and you can click here and you have, these are all learning from the extreme school. And you can explore uh, these uh, schools and uh, learn a little bit uh, more about them. Um, let's see, uh, for instance, imagine uh, that I want to find, um, Ah, there's going to be a new field here uh, that is also enabling us to, to look for the, the schools uh, by country. This is not implemented yet, but this is going to be, to be done soon. And there you can, uh, this is all new. The schools didn't have the time to improve their profile, but uh, okay, I, I will show you uh, from another perspective how a school can look like here. Just to show you uh, how, what you can do. Yes, Nikos, you want to say Just something? a small note that you can sort the schools by country on the map that you can find. I will do that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I will show you a nice uh, profile here from this school, for instance. You enter here and you will see all the description of uh, what the school is doing. You see uh, some pictures and some success stories of the school, the students doing some activities. So. You know, it's up to the creativity of the the school uh, the school manager to do uh, whatever uh, they they see uh, that is important uh, to the school. We, who are the members, the teachers from the school? So all of this, uh, we will be supporting the schools to produce uh, this uh, nice information about them. And what Nikos just said, which is truly very important, is like this: Imagine I am a teacher in Portugal, okay? I'm not a, a teacher from students, but I teach teachers. And I want to go to Romania. I would like to collaborate with the school in Romania. Because I do collaborate with Nikos already. I have the opportunity to visit Greece, Athens. I have the opportunity to visit Marathon for the summer schools. So this time I want to go to Romania, okay? And I can click here, I want to go to visit this school. This is called uh, something. I won't even try to pronounce the name of the school because I will fail miserably. And here, see, I have the contact of the school. So I can send an email to that school and say, which I am a learning from the extreme school or not. Don't tell this to anybody. But those of you that are not learning from the extreme project, you can also click there, get the information and uh, contact the schools. They will all be very glad to communicate and help and support all of you, okay? And so I get to, to communicate with the school and say, I would like to have students visiting your school. Can we communicate? And this to me, this is real community building efforts, okay? If you want to visit Portugal, I have to tell you the following. All the schools in Portugal are in rural areas. And that is amazing because all the rural areas in Portugal are absolutely Beautiful. I will have the privilege to visit it, to visit all the schools, and I will post pictures on my Facebook to make you all envy me. Or instead of envying me, you can just click on the schools and say, we would like to establish a partnership with you. And you can develop projects with these schools however you want. You can use Erasmus Plus, e twinning, however you, 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 you see you see fit. Okay. So again, you click. This one didn't post uh, an email. All of these are missing the emails, but this is uh, something that, um, that we will fix in the near future. This is my mission to be the policy of, of, uh, uh, of all the schools and teachers to make sure that all the profiles are properly filled in and complete. In any case, you can always go to the school here and communicate with the school uh, by finding, for instance, the teacher who is in charge of this school. This is probably the, 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 the school manager. Click here, contact, and establish a contact with the school. Okay, so it's really very, very, very easy to do this. 
Um, what else can I share with you? Here you can see the social media channels of the project. You have Facebook and Twitter. Choose whichever you prefer. If you don't prefer any, don't use them. You are not obliged to, of course, but they are here also to help because it's far quicker to post something on social media and make you aware of what's going on uh, than, uh, than sending an email, the, a message that you might not read, or I mean, you know how social media goes. Like it or not, they are invading our lives. Here in the news and announcements, we are posting information about events, news, and things that are uh, of interest to you. And we are going to use this space to also highlight the learning from the extinct schools, another community building action. So we will invite all the schools to, to send us information about uh, their projects, maybe record themselves saying, this is what I'm doing for LFE, and this is what why I'm doing and then maybe share some very nice things that they have done within the project. And we will be highlighting school, we will be highlighting teachers, and we will be highlighting projects. Are we going to highlight only a few? No, we are going to highlight everyone that is putting good effort in this project. We have, we have the necessary number of days in the year to make sure that we highlight everyone and uh, recognize everyone's efforts. And I know that towards the end of this project, we are going to have a lot of good, good things to share. Um, what else can I say about uh, this platform? I think these were the most important ones. And now I can show you here um, my personal area. So this is me as a teacher. I don't have much here because uh, I use this as a dummy account just to, to showcase uh, what a teacher can do. But, and this is again, a very important community building tip because any of you, even if you are not learning from the exchange partners can come here and register a new community. I will show you in a moment how the, a community, a normal community looks like. Yeah, no, unfortunately, going back here to this community to look beautiful like this, you have to have a project that will fund that. This, this is a lot of work to make this tailor-made for the project. But even so, even if you cannot have a community with that, you can be creative enough with the, with the tools that are available in the, in the platform. You can, uh, you can uh, have, um, Oops, sorry, what did I do here? You can have enough um, information to make a beautiful community to your, to your users. So any teacher, any headmaster, any person can register a community. And why would I want to do that? You might ask. Well, imagine you are a physics teacher and in your uh, region there are, or a primary school teacher, let's go there, a primary school teacher and you are alone in your school, or you have three colleagues in your school, but you would like to have a community with the schools in the neighborhood, and there are 50 other schools in the neighborhood, and you would like to share resources with them, or you would like them to share resources with you. Create a community. Or use that community to share projects, to share resources, to have a wall to discuss whatever you want, and to whatever you want. This is your community and you can do whatever you want with that. So that's a very nice and user-friendly community building tool. You can register a school. If your school is not part of the School of the Future Infrastructure, you can register a school here. You can register a project. And this is something that we will teach you how to do in the next webinar. Or you can register an event, an event yourself. Okay, and when you register an event, an event you can you can choose in which communities that you are a member of, of you want this event to appear. Okay, this is all very easy to be done. For instance, if I want to register an event, I just click here. I put a title. I choose an image and upload this image. I choose the time, the start date and hour, the end date and hour. If I want to be notified and a summary of uh, my event, the event uh, address, 
if any, which is the community where this event is associated to, if I want any other item, and I create my event. And this will be available to all the communities that I choose. And members of this community will be able to see this event that you are registering, okay? So these are some of the opportunities that uh, you will find. You can upload resources, as many resources as you want. You can upload as many projects as you wish. Um, you can uh, be member of as many communities as you want. So you can see here, I'm in this account, I am only member of Learning from the Extremes International, but I can become a member of other communities. So I'll show you how. And guys, 754 communities are here. Not all of them are alive and kicking, but I'm sure that if you create your community and you publicize your community to your colleagues, they will be alive and kicking. So I will click in communities here and I, I want to share, to, to find other communities. So for instance, I would be interested only in learning from the extreme communities search. Oh, and I find here the one from Bulgaria that I didn't join yet. I don't speak Bulgarian, so it's not of very good use to me to join the Bulgarian one, although using uh, Chrome, for instance, it will automatically translate everything. So I might adventure that. But I have uh, the learning from the extremes Portugal, for instance. And I can join that one. Or Italy, or Romania, or Finland, or Spain. So there are many uh, other communities that I can join. Or I can choose a thematic area. I want science. And I don't want it to be a learning from the extreme community. It can be any community, okay? There is this ghost team, reflect for STEM, service learning, plenty of beautiful communities. Um, let's see more, pollinators and biodiversity, stop climate change, now oh, that's in Greek, zero waste. So you see, you can go on and on and on to choose the communities you want. Or I just say any, search and all the communities are going to appear. Oh, there is one here. I want to join this one. And you see, I come here, join the group. And I'm immediately a member of this, uh, of this uh, community, okay? So now, if I go to my profile and I click in communities, I find myself into communities, okay? So this is something that might be useful. I can also uh, take a look at uh, the accelerators, as I told you, which are, these are projects that were created on the in the framework of the Open School for Open Society um, project. And they are following the design thinking approach, which is the topic for the next webinar, a very important methodology for education. Where whatever you teach, design thinking is something that you must do. Is something that you must know how to do. So I will look for one community that talked to me about bees, for a uh, project about bees. And I'll click in this one, bees for the future. And this is a project about the importance of bees to us. And it's already completely produced. It has all the steps of design thinking, right? And I can inspire myself to do a similar project like this, okay? And as a user, I'm not going to explore this in depth because I don't want to spend a lot of your time uh, in, in this, but when I am in my area, I can register a project, okay? And I can create a new project completely based on the ones, uh, on the ones that, um, that you saw in the, in the example. So again, this is a very nice opportunity. And next uh, week, next uh, webinar, I will show how to build this, um, this project here. Um, okay, I talked about all of this. And of course, the same goes for communicating with all the schools that are member of also. So I can also benefit from that and see all the projects that were created in the framework of the project. Let me check again. I see several things here. Let's see. Yes, Martina there are questions. Is, yeah, I'm reading it. 
I'm interested to show we who attend this online training will get issue certificates of our attendance today. Very good questions. Um, yes, if you know, I, Martina, I will ask you to please send us a request and we'll be very, very glad to send it to your email because we don't have the emails of you guys participating here. So communicate with us. Uh, I will put my email here on the chat. So please uh, send out a request uh, and we will send you certificates, okay? Um, the last time a colleague online spoke on the subject of submitting a project for Erasmus Plus seven days before closing application, which was impossible to make. Okay, of course, Martina, it's it, it's not possible in seven days, even for for people who are experts on this writing a proposal in seven days. It's not possible at all. It's not difficult. It's very boring, but it's not difficult. But uh, you can do it next year, and you have the whole year to choose which project you want to to present. Which, which, what partnership you want to establish or which mobilities you want to request. And uh, you have one year to do that. One thing that is important is that for schools, especially if you want to request for a mobility fund, you need to accredit your school and your national agency. So you need to contact your Erasmus Plus agency and request information on how to accredit your school. That happens in October every year. And only after your accreditation is approved, you can request funds, okay? So this is something that is uh, very important. Um, Martina is also asking if there is going to be the recording uh, of this webinar. Yes, this YouTube channel that you are visiting is the Learning from the Extremes um, uh, YouTube channel and all the webinars that already have, uh, we, we already conducted it. All the future ones are going to be recorded and available to everyone in the Learning from the Extremes YouTube uh, channel. Okay. Um, Salma, is that Father? how? Yes, Gustavo. Did you put your email on the chat? Because I don't see it. I think maybe I YouTube did. blocks. I think it, it blocks. So use spaces, okay, instead of putting the, the email. It's your email at Nucleo, I can do that as well. Ah, do that for me, please, okay. Gustavo. See, you are, okay, you are more, digital, you're more, more digital competent than I am. Thank you. Um, how you can integrate the program in school. So, Salma, if you're talking about learning from the extremes, that's only for the schools that... Uh, uh, have applied and unfortunately the funding was just for Europe. If you want to apply the community building methodology that we are designing here, these are the part of the five pillars of community building that I have been presenting all over the world. This is just uh, uh, the digital component of the community building efforts. I hope that helps you. If you want more than this, if you want support to creating something uh, for Senegal, I will be delighted to support you, Salma. You know, I am a, I'm, I'm available actually to support any country willing to implement something like this in their countries. Although, unfortunately, I cannot provide the funding to buy equipment. That is something that only funding agencies can do. Um, okay. No more questions. Let me scroll up a little bit. I might have missed something. No, just hellos. Okay. Nikos, have I missed or forgot something so far? I muted microphone. No, you're... I think that we are on point. Okay, good. Uh, very good. Um, so I uh, want to share with you uh, another thing. So I will stop sharing this screen here and I will share again, but now I will share another thing. This is for the um, learning from the extremes teachers. This is working in progress. I have to admit this should have been ready uh, a couple of weeks ago, but due to some personal problems, I couldn't finalize it. It will be finalized very shortly. And it will uh, be uh, delivered to all of you, all the school managers and teachers from learning from the extremes, 
And I can gladly send this uh, also to others that might be interested. And it will have uh, information uh, to, to um, sorry, it's the wrong one. Oops, sorry. Uh, like this. And it will have all the, it will present to you all the information for the community building tools that you can use, how to create an account, to join a community, how to add a community, to join existing community, how to create an event, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It will also provide information about how you can participate in engagement activities, how you can get training and support, how you can uh, implement projects um, uh, with your students, how you can disseminate to other colleagues how you can evaluate, how you can report what you have been doing. So all of this is going to be uh, available to all the teachers from the learning from the extremes. And if someone like Salma wants to have access to that, um, we can also uh, provide access to, to this information. Again, this is uh, something that is valuable to learning from the extreme schools. But it can also be a very nice methodology that people can adopt uh, to, 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 to build a community around their school, around their projects, uh, anywhere you, you are in the world. Um, okay, I'm going back to the previous uh, window. I'm going back to sharing the previous window. And uh, I will leave it here and uh, see uh, if there are more questions or comments. Um, So Arrow is asking about uh, record, all the recordings of GTTP workshops. No, Arrow, GTTP, for those of you that are attending here and you don't know what it is, uh, maybe Gustavo, you can put the link to the Galileo Teacher Training Program. This is, um, uh, it's a, a network that is coordinated by Nucleo uh, that was created during the International Year of Astronomy that is now in more than 120 countries and have uh, more than have reached more than seventy thousand teachers across the world, and uh, Gustavo will put here the link to our page. A page is being rebuilt, but you already have there some information, and maybe Gustavo can also put here on the chat the link to the to the YouTube uh, channel of the project. We also uh, can uh, uh, show to you another very important. Uh, platform. Um, I hope you can see it. Yes, you can for sure, which is the European School Innovation Academy, where uh, we are offering uh, a series of uh, uh, training courses. And uh, uh, learning from the extremes is one of these courses. So uh, if you are interested, you can come to ESEA, the European School Innovation Academy. The link is here, and maybe Gustavo can also put this link. So Gustavo, you have three links to put, the Galileo Teacher Training Program, the Galileo Teacher Training Program YouTube channel, and the ASEA, and the ASEA, um, and the ASEA link. Maybe Nikos can put the, the ASEA link. I'm not going to do that, not to mess up anything. And here you can find several opportunities for training. Uh, and if you want to participate in the summer school this year, here you have the learning from the extreme summer school. It's going to be a very good summer school with lots of participants and lot of very nice cultural and social activities. So make sure you visit this page. And uh, either you are from learning from the extremes projects and uh, your school already has funds to, to, to maybe uh, accommodate your participation or your school is accredited to Erasmus Plus and you have a mobility action, you can also participate in the summer school and this or any other summer school that we are publicizing here. Or um, you find you have some other sources of, uh, of funds that you can, uh, that you can use. Um, and participate in these summer schools, okay? Also in the learning from the extremes, you have uh, in, the, in the main uh, portal, you have training opportunities, you have these summer schools here as well. I will make sure I will put here uh, the, um, 
the GTTP training courses. Uh, we have uh, two of them coming up in July and September. We will put them here as well, and you can register to them. So there's plenty of opportunities and more are going to appear. We are always training teachers uh, whenever we can, wherever we can. So uh, keep tuned for more information on this. Okay, I will go back once more to the portal and leave you here for a few seconds for you guys to, 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 to tell me if this was clear, if you have any question, if you are able to, uh, to navigate this portal, if you have any difficulty or problem. So you can, you can uh, let me know. So I give you a few seconds of silence to think about it. Okay. Nobody's typing or saying. I don't know. There's a delay in the in the YouTube uh, page that I see. Yes, there's approximately one minute delay between the live session here in, on Zoom and the broadcast on YouTube. Okay. Okay. Nikos, do you think there's anything else to say to the participants that I might have forgotten? I don't see Nikos there, maybe he's not uh, online there. Don't be shy. Please put your, your questions here. Let, let me know something. Tell me please, who of you are from learning from the extreme schools? Just type on the chat. I see here that uh, so already that we have people from so many different uh, countries not only from Europe, but uh, across the world. But I see now that we have more participants than when you started writing where you're from. So tell us where your beautiful school is. They're starting to answer now. Okay, okay, Sorry. great. Oh, I see one. I would like to, to pronounce your name. It's Corina. Name? Gustavo, Corina? Corina. Corina, okay. Oh. I have no battery in my in my headphones. Okay. Better like this. Corina, we, where are you from? Which which city are you from? Let me know, guys. Type here which cities are you from. I will put here. I am in São Domingos de Hana in Portugal. I'm not in a rural area of the country. But I have the privilege to visit them because Portugal, Portugal is a, a small country and it won't be difficult to, to visit the, the learning from the extreme schools that we have here in the country. So that would be really very, very nice. I have another thing to share with you guys. More, more, more text coming on, yes. Corina is from, is Athens. from Athens. Okay. Christina is from Koti. I don't know that place. We'll have to, 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 to fix that. We have to convince Nikos to, to bring me to visit the, the Romanian uh, LFP schools. Are you learning from the extreme school, from, from learning from the extreme schools or not? Say yes if you are from a learning from the extreme schools. Gustavo, I don't like that we have this lag in YouTube and, and, and Zoom. That makes it more difficult to communicate with everyone. Yes, uh, that's, that's one of the drawbacks. Yeah. But you have to ask, then do something else, and then come back for the Yeah, the I know, though, that's, that doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me at all. <laughs> Okay, Anastasia is from LFE. Anastasia, you are either Greek or from Cyprus, right? Liliana from Romania as well. Maria Manuela. Maria Manuela from Romania, true. That's, that's the school that you showed on the map in Santa exactly, Maria. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. 
We have Chimoy from uh, Croatia. Chiomir. Chiomir, yes. Chiomir. Davic from Mace in Croatia. So you already see here, guys, start communicating with each other because uh, you can, you are actually closer to each other than, than we are, I think. And uh, so you can establish collaboration between you. Okay, very nice, very nice. Well, I will put here a link. Uh, okay, no, forget. Not this one. Let me... Uh -uh. not what I want to do. I will share with you the link to this, um, the link to these webinars where you, you can invite uh, your colleagues uh, to, to join hands. Okay, so please share this link with your colleagues so that they can uh, also participate in this event. They just have to register. And we will, uh, every time we have a webinar, we will send out um, information about the webinars, the future webinars that we are going to host. While we are waiting for you to, to share with us uh, your location, I would like to, uh, to inform you that in two weeks from now, we are going to talk about design thinking for education and the universal design for learning. And uh, we will be showing you how you can use these methodologies and create your projects in this portal. We are going, the, two weeks later on April 12th, we are going to be, uh, the dates might change a little bit. We are yet to confirm that, but in any case, they are going to appear in the website of the project, which I didn't show you yet. Actually, let me do it right now. Let me show you uh, the website of learning from the extremes. This is the website of learning from the extremes where you can find all the news and announcements. And I am going to put this link also on the chat. And you, you can find the updated information uh, from learning from the extremes uh, here. And then- I, I, Sorry, you cannot post links, you. It's only the channel. Owners, okay. Ah, so I'll share for you. Then can you please put the yes. learning from the extremes, the website, mm -hmm. or maybe Nikos? Nikos, can you do that? Yeah, Nikos can do that as well. The learning from the extremes uh, website. Yeah. Um, okay, and um, okay. As I was saying, the the dates are going to be announced in the social media channels, and in the in the uh, the website and in the portal. And if you register your interest in the form that I just gave you, it, it will also, uh, we will also send the link and date to you. So the next one is design thinking. The one after that is going to be about uh, um, open educational resources and practices. Uh, sorry, before that, we have one about innovative education methodologies which is okay, this is the one, the next one, I'm getting tired here. So in two weeks from now is the design thinking for education and universal design for learning. After that, open educational resources and open educational practices. That's a very important one for you to follow when searching for materials online and when uh, producing and sharing your own material. The next one after that will be uh, teachers as, uh, as designers of digital and blended lessons. After that, how to bring a makerspace to your school and many other webinars are in line. I'm not going to say the title of all of, of, all of them because I'm getting few suggestions. And although we have them scheduled until the end of the year, the school year, uh, we uh, want to enable some flexibility. So keep tuned if you want to know more. If you want to contact us, please feel free. We are here to help you the best we can. We want you to have a good journey with us in learning from the extremes, but we also want you to be able to build your communities, to bring innovation to the hands of your teachers, wherever you are, even if you are not a learning from the extremes um, school. Maybe in the next call, you will be one of these uh, schools and we are looking forward to having you there. 
I'm going to take a last look for the, the chat. And I see that people are telling us where they are from. This is really very nice. Uh, Carmore replies. Exactly, I can see that. If you participate in our training activities, especially the ones that are uh, being conducted uh, online or in a hybrid mode, we are experts in community building during these training activities online. And we will present a few tools and a few ideas that you can use to work with your community online, which is something that is not always easy to do and how to activate and make sure that everyone is actually there with you all the time. Um, I think this is what I had to share with you today. Um, if you have any other question or any need of support, let us know. It was great to have you all here. I see that we have at uh, this moment uh, 40 people uh, watching us, which is uh, really very great. Uh, and uh, we are actually looking forward to seeing you back in the next, uh, in the next uh, activities. Um, Yes, that's it. Gustavo, Nikos, do you want to say anything? I will stop sharing my screen so they can maybe see you as well. I just wanted to thank you, Rosa, and uh, all the colleagues from around Europe. It's nice to, to see uh, names that I already know from our collaboration all these months. And uh, just want to remind that uh, uh, the videos and the recordings will be available on the uh, Learning from the Extreme uh, YouTube channel, but also on the website and on the community portal. Yeah. And I, I'll, thank you I for want, hosting uh, this. My pleasure. Thank you for making the presentation. I'm happy because we had so many viewers today following. It's always nice to see uh, the numbers growing. And in, invite everyone to, to come back next week at the same time. There is webinars every Wednesday. In two weeks. In, in two weeks. weeks. Not, two not, weeks. not next week. Two weeks so, from now then. Sometimes, occasionally, we yeah. will go every week. But for the time being, we are doing this every two weeks. Yeah. And, and please subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notifications since you are on YouTube. So you get notified when we are live. So please use this uh, service from YouTube so you can get notifications and, and and then the recordings are become available on the channel as well. When will the recording of this session become available, Gustavo? It's automatic. Automatic. It's, uh, yes. It's, it's automatic uh, on the YouTube and uh, I will upload them tomorrow on the community portal. Great. Okay, okay. guys. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.